So in the uh, Schwitzgebel and Garza article on AI rights, they use the terms uh, valid and sound. Whoa, go somewhere. So uh, this video is just explaining uh, what those mean in philosophy so that you can understand what they're talking about here. So uh, these words are words that describe arguments. So to understand them, we have to understand what an argument is in philosophy. So in philosophy, an argument is basically uh, what we have up here. So they say our argument is this thing. And an argument is a series of premises and then one or more conclusions. And the premises support the conclusions. And so the argument sort of gives you some reasons to support a conclusion, and then it gives you the conclusion that it supports. So often in philosophy, we'll list out our arguments like this, like here's premise number one, here's premise number two, here's the conclusion, but you don't have to do that. In fact, all the articles we've been reading for this class have been full of arguments, but they typically aren't listed out like this. Typically, people are just writing their arguments in normal English. So the thought is the way the argument works, you have the premises, you list out the premises, the premises give reasons, and the reasons support the conclusion. So that is what an argument is in philosophy. And so what does it mean to say that an argument is valid and to say that an argument is sound? So they actually sort of explain what it means for an argument to be valid. That's the conclusion follows from the premises. They say plainly that they think their argument is plain. Uh, it's sort of plainly clear, but that's not necessary. What's necessary for an argument to be valid is that if you accept the premises, then you have to accept the conclusion. So here's an argument with premise number one, blah, 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 premise number two, blah, blah, blah. And the thought is, look, I'm not going to fight about premise number one or premise number two right now. Let's just assume they're true. I'll accept premise number one and accept premise number two sort of for the sake of the argument. Once I accept those, do I have to accept the conclusion? And if the answer is yes, you have to accept the conclusion as long as you grant the premises. Then the argument is what we call valid. It's a valid argument. Assuming the premises are right, the conclusion is right. So that's what it means for an argument to be valid. And so if you have a valid argument, then the interesting thing is, oh, so now all I have to worry about is, are the premises true? Do I actually accept the premises, not just for the sake of the argument, but actually, do I agree with both of the premises or all of the premises? So if you agree with all of the premises in a valid argument, then the argument is also sound. So a sound argument is a valid argument with true premises. The premises are correct. And so a sound argument is nice because uh, that means we can accept its conclusion. Uh, because a valid argument is one where if we accept the premises, we accept the conclusion, and now we accept the premises, so we accept the conclusion. Uh, it's kind of not very interesting to make up a valid argument. Valid arguments are very easy to come up with. So um, argument, my valid argument could be something like premise number one, if you live in India, then you owe me 600 rupees. Premise number two, you live in India, premise number three, or sorry, conclusion, you owe me 600 rupees. That argument is valid. If we accept premise number one and premise number two, then it leads to the conclusion that you owe me money. But uh, the argument is surely not sound. Premise number one is false. Uh, everybody who lives in India doesn't owe me money. So really what's interesting is coming up with sound arguments. And that's sort of how this arg article works. They say, look, the argument's valid. We're just going to spend one sentence saying that uh, the rest of the argument is about whether it's sound, whether we accept the premises.